This is where yesterday's video finished, and this is where today's will obviously start. Subscribe, notification bell, so get notified every time I do upload. I'm uploading for 365 days in a row, so if you've missed the other ones, go back, watch them, and then come back to here. Before we go out and shoot a POV in Sydney, I just want to mention these hoodies here, the OW uh, Progression Create, Create More Stress Less hoodies are on the website. You can go and buy one now. Link in the description. Uh, I think they're $48 US dollars. Um, yeah, go buy one. They're in the description. All of the photos in today's video are edited with my presets. Link in the description. You get 125 plus presets for £10. There's also a creator bundle for £15. Go and enjoy. Link in the description. Okay, so to start this video, I'm going to be starting here in Central Station in Sydney. And uh, I'm going to walk towards the Central, as in like the centre CBD area. Uh, there's a shot of a dude here just sitting on the floor, which I think will be a good opening shot, I believe see how it looks in the frame and okay, we have got the 85 on we're gonna get down I'm gonna put a bit of that in the foreground and I think to start off with just a nice clean shot now here is where a tram pulls in I'm thinking I might wait around because there was a tram here while I started talking I was thinking it might be a good shot for maybe a tram just parked there I assume there's one coming here next service in one minute we shall wait for a minute so while we wait for the tram to come in i'm going to use this escalator here i'm going to come up here and get like a top down shot of somebody going through the frame there sick and then hopefully that tram will be coming in pretty soon uh let's get another one of this dude nice okay i mean i think we're going off to a good start here Got some good decent shots so far but the uh, the tram is coming in now we'll get this shot and then we'll move on from here it's actually quite a nice symmetrical shot it's quite a cool shot down there so we'll get one of the uh, the tram coming in down below Maybe somebody walking through down there. Will that kind of work? I guess that kind of works. And the tram, let's get square with the tram. Nice. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, another shot of the tram. Is it gonna work? If he goes all the way through the frame. Nice simple shot maybe of this dude down there crossing the road. Nice. Okay, come about down here. Okay, we're good. Let's keep moving on. Okay, so a dude here in the tram. Don't know if I was quick enough. Um, thinking maybe we can get a shot of the tram. Pulling away. And this is very much a kind of like a recon mission for myself to look around and see what's see what's what's what and see where good locations are for for future shoots and projects etc coming up. Okay, so I'm thinking uh, maybe a shot down here towards Chinatown. It's quite nice with uh, the compression. It's quite a nice, uh, I mean, this is Chinatown, by the way, for those that uh, are wondering. Not quite the same as the one in London. But, nonetheless, they do have some things up here. I don't know if they light up, maybe in the evening. That might look pretty cool. I don't know if they do. I'm not sure what it is, but there's a bit of water here. Maybe I can use it as a reflection. I think uh, 85 mil, I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh shit, yeah, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, that's sick. That actually looks so good, the silhouette. Kid playing. Maybe get the reflection, this dude walking through the frame. Okay, sweet. That will do. 
I like that. That's not bad at all. Okay, noted. Chinatown looks good with a reflection. Who would know? Okay, so I've just walked down onto Lime Street. Um, at 85, I think it's actually a bit too compressed, but I think with 70 mil, what would look really good is somebody walking across the crossing and then with the, uh, the building in the background, it'll look pretty good. There are gonna be some dudes walking across the street now, and I'll show you for an example, which looks nice with the compression in the background. I think what would look good is I think with like a car, 70 mil or 50 mil, center of the frame on the road, look pretty sick on that road. That's good for reference, good to know. We're gonna walk down actually Lime Street, see what else we can get. Okay, so just coming down this street, continuing down Lime Street, I mean, there is a ton of awesome, like, there's so much depth. Look at this shot here. Again, for a car shot, this would look really cool. Car maybe just here, with all that depth in the background. We'll kind of get a test shot with this, this Kia. I mean, it's not quite the same, but you get the, uh, the reference point. And then you've got this awesome building here on the right, which would look pretty cool for, uh, I'm gonna move down a little bit because it's a bit crowded. I think the only frame that works is this one because I can come further back into this kind of exit. And there is a dude going through the frame. Again, this is a shot that I'd want to do with a wider lens. Um, I mean, it still works and I think once I've cleaned it up in post a little bit, it, it, it does look good. But I think, again, wider lens would have been preference there. I think this side obviously works a bit better with this building because I can go further back with the 85 mil. It creates a, a better image. I did just get one, I don't know if you caught it on the camera there, of a dude walking across the street. But I was kind of rushing, it didn't really work. Okay, dude on the other side. Oh yeah, sweet, we'll take that, done. So just walking into this space here, and I think it's definitely gonna work because there's a, the, the sun's come out a bit, there's a bit of shadow going on. And I think we can maybe get something going that way. Just looking at different frames in my head before I kind of commit to a shot. This section's nice because there doesn't seem to be too many people walking. This section is nice and the staircase in the background is nice because there doesn't seem to be too many people walking here. Uh, there is a dude walking through the frame in the background. That kind of worked. I think ideally I'd have him walking towards me, but I don't think many people are gonna come this way though. The, the light coming through there is quite nice. I think on landscape. Pretty good, but I think I prefer somebody coming down the steps, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm just gonna actually push up the stairs just to have a little look to see what's at the top. And I think it's actually where we went with the meetup the other day, which is good. But I don't know what shots I can get with the 85 mil, if anything. Here with the 85. I mean, you kind of get a partial reflection. Maybe with this dude. A nice simplistic shot here in landscape. Gonna get a nice crossover. Ooh, it's quite nice actually. That's sick. I actually really like that shot. Okay, this is really nice as well. A landscape shot gonna wait for the right people in the frame I think I think it'd be nice if there was somebody on every single like entrance so the up down left and right oh so close to it so close so close just reviewing the shot I just got I think I might come to the left a little bit come down and I think that's probably a better frame hopefully you got those two women going into frame as well and that's the crossover Sweet, got so many in every single part of the frame. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think I'm happy with the uh, the shot that I got there. I've got somebody in kind of every kind of third of the frame. Well, I think it worked anyway. I like this shot. We have one in landscape as well. Pretty 
pretty sick. Okay, so I've come down to like the, the dock area. So a dude just here working, which is quite a nice simple simple shot. Oh see what else we can uh, find along here. I mean it's really nice. It's so quiet as well. Crazy quiet. I thought it'd be busy. So I've made it to the harbour bridge. Now I, I had no intention of shooting the harbour bridge today. I kind of wanted just to this was kind of my end point because a lot of the stuff around here I want to do at night time um, I'm obviously going to be, be I'm obviously going to be doing more and more daytime POVs as well as nighttime stuff but uh, I have a for the first kind of POV around this area that I want to do I want to do it nighttime because I've got some shots I want to tick off but uh, I don't think I'd be using the 85 in this situation anyway apart from to get some detailed shots maybe like this which is quite nice. I think we'll call that the last shot of the uh, of the video. And the idea of this was kind of to get my eye back into street photography. I know I did it in Japan, but I felt like it was so easy to do street photography in Japan. I didn't really classify, and I feel a little bit kind of rusty in terms of um, thinking about shots and framing, etc. However, I'm happy with the shots that I got in this video, and it's uh, ignited the uh, the street photography mind again and i'm super excited to get to know the city explore it shoot it in so many different ways and obviously showcase it with you guys as well let's jump into the hashtag it's what you guys have been creating over the last couple of days okay i think for the uh, the first initial shoot here in uh, in sydney the first kind of pov street photography video that i've done i got some really good shots and the to be honest the lighting wasn't great it was a little bit dull and dreary when i checked the forecast before i went out it said it was gonna be sunny but hey, we know that these things change. If you do want to check the weather before you go out, I would highly recommend downloading Windy. It's a really good app, uh, just W-I-N-D-Y. Um, and you can kind of look at the, the weather systems that are coming in. It's good for photography. It's good for other things as well. It's just a very good recommendation, not sponsored. We're gonna have a look at the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram where you guys can show me the content you're creating and in turn inspire me and inspire other people around the world. Now, before I do, a little reminder, all presets are down in the description, create a bundle down in the description, merchandise store down in the description. We're gonna go down the top page today, not the most recent, we're gonna have a look at the top page and look at some of the, the people on there. We'll go with this one here, nice foggy vibe. Um, and that's in Cambridge in the UK. Very strong blue tones, but it does work from Ben Visuals. Um, and I did say I will every now and then go onto people's pages and have a look at their work overall. And I think, uh, Ben, you're killing it. Uh, let's go down from there. We'll go with this one here. I love that. That's from Savoff Shots. Uh, and we'll go onto his page as well. Let's have a look and see what he's been creating. Very streety, very uh, misty, and also very dreamy a lot of the content. Uh, going down from there, we've got this nice cinematic uh, sequence from Jim. Great shots. This one here, which looks really nice, it's called Cinema Streets. This is a reposted uh, page and uh, the featured account is Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas. Uh, your work is very good, Joe Thomas. Hence why it's been shared on that resharing page. Uh, and we will do two more. We'll go with this one here. Really like that shot. And last one, we'll go with this one, uh, 50 millimeter mat. Um, if you do want to get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag Optical Wonder. You just throw it in your caption when you're going to upload. Now, my 2023 goal. People have been asking me, what's your goal for 2023? Yes, I'm uploading every single day. But I would like to get one of my videos, doesn't matter if it's an old one or a current one or a new one or whatever, to 1 million views. And it doesn't matter about views, and people say it doesn't matter about views, but for me, it's a goal that I haven't achieved yet, and as a creator on a platform that I put a lot of effort into, I would love for one of my videos to get that. So if this video resonated with you, or if any of my other videos resonate with you, please can you go and share it. Share it with friends, family, etc. And uh, let's, see, let's see what we can do in 2023. With all that being said, create more, stress less, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. This is the last 20 seconds where you get an opportunity to go and rewatch one of the old ones, or if you haven't seen it, go and watch one of these. You can go and watch one of these, or you can press this and subscribe. It's totally up to you. I mean, if you don't want to subscribe, I get it. I mean, it's totally free, so I don't know why you wouldn't, but subscribe.